So next up in the battle between DJI and Sharkbite, we're going to look at latency. We're going to use what I'm going to dub the Gal Kremer method. And it was shared with me by Joshua Bardwell on a post I popped on Facebook asking, how do you test? Some people said they do the click method where they record their click and don't know how tangible or quantifiable that is. The Gal Kremer method is you point a GoPro into the goggles and you turn the lights off. You then count the number of frames that it, uh, that it takes for the room to go dark or the difference between the room going dark and when the video feed in the camera goes dark. We're going to do the Kremer test and see which one has the better latency between DJI and Sharkbite. I think you might already know the winner. Now to give you uh, just a quick example, I was using a Nebula Nano camera which doesn't have high quality mode. The reason for that is I'm trying to get the sensors as comparable as possible because the Nebula Nano uses a one third of an inch whereas um, one and 3.2 of an inch sensor is on the full size DJI camera and that's also got the ability to switch between high quality mode and low latency. Right now we're just filming on low latency 50 megabytes per second. So let's see how the tests compare. Now that was a pretty difficult test to perform because trying to catch the moment or decide the moment between um, the light, luckily I could hear the click um, of the switch, so there is the latency of the, the milliseconds of latency between when the light goes off and the switch because of the type of light I'm using. So I had to pick the moment when the room was fully dark. With DJI I was trying to sort of suss it out. Um, I reckon it was about five frames. I'll let you be the deciding factor. But effectively, the equation I used to get there was 120 frames per second. Uh, one second is 1,000 milliseconds, which is 8.33 milliseconds, well, repeater, uh, milliseconds per frame. So DJI came in at five, that was around the 41 uh, millisecond mark. I reckon it was probably about four as well. So you're seeing anywhere between uh, 33 all the way up to 41 milliseconds. And that was consistent with what the DJI system was saying in the goggles around the uh, latency. They were saying it's around 38 milliseconds latency in the goggles. So that seems consistent. Um, shark bite from what I was able to calculate uh, was coming in about two and a half, three frames. Uh, so you're looking at 20 to 25 milliseconds in latency. So Sharkbite certainly won this round. 